Hello YouTube, welcome to this video. And today is part two of my guide to Encyclopedia, a wonderful book. And Paul, an online friend who I've never met, sent me this beautiful book and a beautiful Zippo lighter as a present. Thank you so much, Paul. Words cannot describe how I felt when I opened both the lighter and this book. Part one, as I said, in the description. And today's about the chronolog chronological notes on Zippo lighters. In 1931, in the summer, Blasdell, that's George Grant Blasdell, Bradford, Pennsylvania, takes an interest in Austrian lighter and initiates negotiation rights to buy the import it into the USA. He improved some of the aspects and sells it for one dollar and it was an absolute failure. But Blasdell then tried to improve it. And as you see, the hurricane lighter there. Pictures of said book will appear at the end. In 1932, Blasdell corrected what he thought was the important aspect of the design, a hinge, so it could be lit with one hand. It wasn't an oval design anymore, it was more a square box. And he created the first Zippo lighter. In 1933, Zippo settles on Bolton Street in Bradford, and the first lighter goes on sale for $1.95. In 1934, the first patent to the US Patent Office is requested, and Zippo sells or disputes its lighters through an old gambling game that's an instant lottery, very popular in American society, called Punchball. You could win a Zippo or cigarettes for two cents. The numbers 200, 400, 600, 800 and 1000, you've got a Zippo lighter. And Camel, Lucky Strikes and Chesterfield and other tobacco brands took part in the game until it was outlawed in 1940. In 1935, the first adverts appeared, and in 1936, the Patent Office grants Zippo a patent for its windproof lighter. And that's more pictures from the book. In 1937, the manufacturing and distribution of the so-called sports series, the golfer, the fisherman and the bulldog, the hunter, is introduced. Also the elephant. The sales price is $2.75. The first cans of fuel are sold at 25 cents for oil ounces. And in 1938, Zippo bought the company's headquarters on Bourbon Street in Bradford. In 1939, the first 14 carat solid gold was manufactured. In 1940, the application to of the metal sheets to place initials on the lighters begins. In 1942, the Black Crackle appears and this is used because of scarcity of materials in World War II. Zippo casings were produced by an external company in poor quality steel and weren't as good as normal. In 1943, they announced they weren't supplying the civilian population anymore until the end of the war. By then, one million Zippos had been made and they were solely going to be sold 
sent to the military. In 1944, Ernie Pyle, a war correspondent, sent the zip letters to Zippo Fernandez, commenting Zippos were important to the guys on the front. In 1946, models called Tack a Loop or Loose Proof emerged, made for users with sporting activities. 1947, once again enormous capacity for inventing distribution systems and generating publicity, Zippo decided to make a Zippo car. In 1948, 10 million units had been produced of the lighter. Also, a new patent was issued with the changes made to the original windproof lighter. In 1949, the Canadian factory opened and that stayed open till 2002. And this is a picture of George Nadell, who was a war correspondent. More pictures are there. and Zippo car, as you can see. In 1950, Blasdell honours his parents by creating the Philo and Sarah Blasdell Foundation, and I'll tell you about that later in the series. They also launched the Zippo table lighter, and in 1951, through a parallel society of Zippo, named Zara Laboratories, two products which have nothing to do with the manufacturing lighters are launched Zip Slip, a lubricant bar to apply on zippers, and the Zirin, a nourishing balm for the lips, nose, and other areas exposed to the sun. In 1952, 25 years after founding, Blasdell announces Zippo Manufacturing will construct a three-storey building to house its headquarters in Bradford. In 1953, another patent was issued or requested about the changes to Zippo. They linked up with Marlborough in 1954 with their first cow little cowboy advert and Zippo were there as well. And there are the pictures there. This video is going to end and I'll tell you more next week about the chronological notes on Zippo lighters. Stay lit guys and thanks for watching and giving this video a thumbs up.